Metals Cave Meckel's cave is a dural recess in the posteromedial portion of the middle cranial fossa that acts as a conduit for the trigeminal nerve between the prepontine cistern and the cavernous sinus and houses the cesarean ganglion and proximal roots of the trigeminal nerve. What are the proximal roots? The mandibular, maxillary and the ophthalmic division. This is where the trigeminal nerve enters the cave. We have lifted the superior cover and that is the extent of Meckel's cave. This dotted line shows the Meckel's cave within. Meckel's cave is situated at the posterolateral aspect of the cavernous sinus on either side of the sphenoid bone. Medial to the ganglion in Meckel's cave is the internal carotid artery in the posterior portion of the cavernous sinus. Inferior is the motor root of the trigeminal nerve and the petrous apex of the petrous temporal bone with the internal carotid artery traversing the carotid canal. The entrance of the cave called porous trigeminus is situated between the superior and inferior petrosal sinuses. Let's have a look. Cavity. Find the prominent stumps of the oculomotor nerve. Oculomotor the nerve. Abducent nerve. Abducent nerve. And the trigeminal That's nerve. The trigeminal nerve entering the metal scale. That is the extent of the metal scale. Probe the trigeminal cave under the dura. That is the trigeminal cave, metal cave. Then cut and reflect a dura over the cave to expose the trigeminal ganglion. Reflect the nerve to identify the motor root on the inferior surface of the ganglion. Cavity. Meckel's cave is named after the German anatomist Johannan Friedrich Meckel the Elder, 1724 to 1774. Now he wrote his doctoral thesis on the trigeminal nerve and that was published in 1748 and contained the first description of Cavum Mackelai. Mackel's grandson, also called Johannes Frederick Mackel, 1781 to 1833, and therefore was nicknamed Mackel the Junior or the Younger, who was the discoverer of Mackel's diverticulum. Mac Johannes Frederick Mackel the Elder and his grands who discovered the Mackel's cave and the grandson who discovered the Meckel's diverticulum. Meckel's cave lesions are numerous. They are neoplastic. Meckel's cave tumors account for only 0.5% of all intracranial tumors and the most common histologies are trigeminal schwannoma, most common about 33%, meningioma, pituitary macroadenoma, base of skull tumors, metastasis including retrograde spread of head and neck tumors, neurolymphomatosis, epidermoid cyst, lipoma and the non-neoplastic lesions in the Meckel cave are internal carotid artery aneurysms and vascular malformations, petrous apex cephalocele, The Meckel's cave is formed by two layers of dura mater, namely the endosteal and the meningeal, which are part of an evagination of the cerebellar tentorium near the apex of the petrous part of the temporal bone. It envelops the trigeminal ganglion. 
and it is bound by the dura overlying four structures namely cerebellum tentorium supralaterally lateral wall of the cavernous sinus supramedially clivus medially posterior petrous face infralaterally and within the dural confines of the trigeminal cave there is a continuation of subarachnoid space along the posterior aspect of the cave representing a continuation of the cerebral basal cisterns that is johann frederick meckel the elder he was a german anatomist often referred to as the elder appended to his name to avoid confusion is his famous grandson johannes frederick meckel the junior or the younger the elder meckel's son philip frederick theodor meckel and another grandson august albrecht meckel were also anatomists a fantastic family meckel has a number of anatomical eponyms associated with him there is the meckel's cave a space a cavity in the dura mater over the petrous part of the temporal bone that covers the trigeminal ganglion there is the meckel's ganglion better known as the sphenopalatine ganglion which is a small parasympathetic ganglion in the upper part of the sphenomaxillary fissure giving off nerves to the eyes nose and palate there is the meckel's ligament a portion of the anterior ligament that fastens the malleus to the wall of the tympanic membrane this structure may be named after meckel's son philip frederick theodor meckel meckel's cave was described by meckel in his undergraduate dissertation on the trigeminal nerve meckel's cave is a natural mouth shaped aperture it's a mouth shaped aperture connecting with the posterior fossa that is located in the medial portion of the middle cranial fossa the cave extends forwards similar to an open ended three fingered glove and provides a channel for the rootlets of the trigeminal nerve the trigeminal ganglion and the ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular divisions until they reach their respective foramina the cave extends forwards to an open three ended figure figured fingered glove and provides channels for the rootlets of the trigeminal nerve the ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular divisions the average height of this oval mouth was found to be 4.2 mm and the average width was 7.6 mm the mouth of the meckel's cave is located 12 mm superior and medial to the internal acoustic meatus and 6.5 mm superior and medial to the dural point of entrance of the nervous abducens and 20 mm medial to the arcuate eminence this is the opening and when the roof is reflected we see the nerve going to the trigeminal ganglion and the three rootlets this picture shows morphometric relationships of the structures of the posterior petrosal surface during posterolateral approach this is the trigeminal ganglion the middle meningeal artery the ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular divisions internal carotid artery a comprehensive overview of the meckel's cave